Hello you guys, how are you? I hope you are staying well and staying healthy. My name is Joni, welcome to my channel Joni Loves. Please before we go and hit that subscribe button and that bell, that would be so cool. Now today I'm excited because I'm going to do a skincare reaction to another fellow Scot. <laughs> so this is Jamie Genevieve, a Scottish girl, Scottish lass who's aged 27 and she is a really well-known makeup artist. I'm going to put a link to this original video um, below in the description but I would definitely have a look at her channel. Her makeups are amazing so one to look at. Mm -hmm. She's got a great following on Instagram, 1.4 million followers. So this girl's doing something right, apart from her makeup. Let us see if she's doing her skincare right. <laughs> Joni will tell you what she thinks. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would take you through a day in the life of my skincare. So we start in the morning, I show you my morning routine and then we come back at night and I take it all off and show you my nighttime routine. I forgot to do an intro so here it is. My skin at the moment, I'm just dead chuffed with it and I've been getting a few requests and a few questions about my routine so I thought it would be easier and I suppose more informative if I was to film it and share it this way. So I hope you guys like it. So if you'd like to see what my routine is then please stay tuned it's the morning where's my coffee I've got it I've got it I've got it so you can see this is my skin it's really happy at the moment it's a little bit dry the weather outside is super cold so we have our central heating on a lot which can dry out your skin so I do make a bit more of an effort to to hydrate my skin during times like this for the record my skin is normal to combination I can get oily I can get dry but it's never too far in the other direction also, you don't have to get all the stuff that I use. This is just what I'm using that's really worked. I think this is probably the best my skin's ever been in my life. And I think it's because of the combination of what I'm using, what kind of products I'm using, but also how I apply them and how and how I work them into my skin. So the first thing I'm gonna use, and you can see that this is nearly done, this is the Darfan Intral Redness Relief Soothing Serum. So this is just like a really gentle hydrator. It's nice calming on the skin as well. I've got two pumps. I work that into my palms and I press in. I pretty much press in all of my products at the start anyway. It's gonna go around my nose and this kicks off the hydration. Interesting. So I do like the press on thing. I do like that and then just massaging the drops when you're finishing doing that. So I do like the way that she applied this product. Darfan Intral Redless Relief. I'm wondering why she's using a redness relief soothing serum. That's that's a bit interesting. She says it's um, she's got combination skin. Okay, so combination skin. And just now her skin's a bit dry. Aren't we all in UK especially? We've got the heating on, the air's dry, the weather's freezing. <laughs> yeah, so we all need a bit of hydration just now for sure. So this is the first thing that she's put on her skin. And... I'm going to say to you that I'm not a big fan of Darfan. Nope, because this whole brand is all built around, their emphasis is on fragrance and I'm not keen on that. I'm not. So fragrance is not skincare, okay? And the fragrance is really halfway down um, to, you know, the, the ingredient list. So there is a, quite a good bit. There's also colouring in this, a lot of colouring. So uh, two things I'm not keen on. However, it has got glycerine, humectant. Um, it's got chamomile, which is a soothing antioxidant. So that's really good. And um, I'm looking at it, but I do think it's overpriced. An overpriced perfume serum that is hydrating, soothing, but old fashioned. And it got mainly just okay reviews. So I'm sure we could have found something a bit better for Jamie. So that one is a uh, uh, not not great okay it's not great for me i don't like um when someone puts on a perfume product first as well on their skin nope 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 the hydration in our skin and i do use that morning and night now i'm going to go in with my hyaluronic acid this is from the inky list i have tried super affordable hyaluronic serums and i've tried super expensive hyaluronic serums i think this inky list one's really good the only thing that i don't love 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 is the component you have to click the lid open 
like that and pour it out so sometimes I have too much but really other than that I think it's really good I suppose it's all just about the experience I think that with luxury products you do get a luxury experience and with slightly more inexpensive products you get simple but effective experience it's great okay Hyaluron mm, that's really interesting inky list hyaluronic acid 5.99 for 30 mils that is really good priced uh -huh. well priced and it's cruelty free and fragrance free <laughs> good good i quite like this and i'm looking at this okay um it's got the third the third one is an ingredient is glycerine and it's got butylene glycol and sodium hyaluronic you know humectants humectants sodium hyaluronic remembers hyaluronic acid and it's got hyaluronic acid and again the other form of it which is great i really like this and it's got palmitoyl tri tetrapeptide 7 and another one that helps skin surface and tell skin how to look good this is only 5.99 i'm liking this inky list stuff this is a basic brand but it's it helps stay skin stay smooth and hydrated i believe and it's also got this in these ingredients to um repair the skin's moisture barrier i quite like this it reminds me a little bit of the ordinary and what a good price so yeah this is getting a thumbs up the inky list hyaluronic acid thumbs up to that one so my skin feels quite sticky. This serum, it's quite amazing. This is the Victoria Beckham Beauty Augustinus Bader Cell Rejuvenating Power Serum. I take seven drops of this morning and night. Three, four, five, six, seven. Literally just rub it in to my fingertips. Pat that on. This serum's a bit of a blend of everything that your skin needs, apparently. That's how they market it and that's how they sell it. So they say that you only need to use this serum if you're using serums. I don't just use this serum, but if you think about it, like my two serums that I've just used are just all about hydration, which is what my skin really needs. And then this, I know it has niacinamide in it. It has Augustinus Bader's like signature blend that is amazing for anti-aging and age prevention and pore size, dark spots. It's like everything. It's everything. It is really good. It's just expensive. And then mm, this is Victoria Beckham's Beauty. Augustinus Bader Cell Rejuvenating Power Serum, 180 quid for 30 mils. <laughs> mm -hmm. And it's cruelty free and mostly vegan. <laughs> Who is Augustinus Bader? So this is a Professor Bader who spent 30 years researching stem cell technology. And he's got this, um, it's TFC8, his trigger factor complex. Woo! Um, there's a complex of 40 different ingredients that thick skin out with vitamins, lipids, um, proteins, amino acids in this and that's this, his brand is built around this um, trigger, trigger factor complex and it's in this Victoria Beckham's. Mm -hmm. So let me see, there's six hydrating ingredients in this. So the glycerine superstar ingredient, then diglycerine humectin, um, and then we've got a copycat glycolic acid which is saccharide, saccharomyces <laughs> ferment filtrate. Always hard to say these, but it's a copycat glycolic acid, which is good. Um, pentylene glycol, which is skin replenishing, very good. And then it's got polyglycerol 4 caprate, which is an emollient from olive oil. This in the top seven ingredients, that is really, really good. And then we go on to niacinamide, which is 10th, which is a skin soothing antioxidant, which helps to reduce large pores, uneven skin tone. I think this will be really good for Jamie's skin, I like this and helps to repair the skin's protective barrier. It's got betaine, which is hydration, and nigrum fruit juice, which is also hydrating. My goodness, and it's got panthenol, which is that vitamin B5 I talked about before, which is a hydrator, yeast extract, antioxidant. My goodness, I'm thinking this is going to be Joni's favourite. I can't believe I'm saying that at 180 quid for 30 mil. But I'm looking down this list and there is nothing in this list that's putting me off. It's all putting me forward trying this serum. <gasps> Why's it always got to be the expensive ones I like? <laughs> but this is really, really good. I love this. I do. So this, this is really good. Mm -hmm. Interesting. And Victoria Beckham, thumbs up girl. This is a really good serum. 
it's just expensive. And then after that, I do my moisturiser. So moisturiser, I'm more fickle with. I suppose my only rule is during the day, I go for something a tiny bit lighter. And then at night time, I go in with something a little bit richer. So this is the Watermelon Glow Pink Juice Moisturiser from Glow Recipe. It's beautiful under makeup is really nice i have been trying out a few different things and then i just kind of rub that in do you see super glowy and do you know what the hyaluronic acid and all the serums underneath what they've done is they've can you see that they've left my skin super hydrated but a little bit sticky which is quite nice especially if you're wearing makeup now Right, okay, that's a lot, isn't it? We've got three serums, Jamie's, and she did say at the beginning that you don't need to have all this that she's now putting on, but this is quite a lot of uh, quite a lot of stuff that she's putting on, I think. So we've got the Darfan Redness Relief, then we've got the Inky List Hyaluronic Acid, the Victoria Beckham's um, Cell Rejuvenating Power Serum, and now we've got a moisturiser. Mm -hmm. That's a lot, it is a lot, definitely. And this is... Glow recipe, it's paraben free, cruelty free and vegan, I like it, it's 19.50 for 20 mil, really good. But it contains perfume, but interesting, this is this is a company Glow recipe that was founded by two partners that worked in L'Oreal, one in the US and one in Korea, and they're trying now to make everything like the Korean, the K-Beauty, and this is what this is all about, okay? It's an okay moisturiser, I definitely would try it. I think it definitely would suit Jamie's skin because it's for combination oily, I do believe. Um, it's got a great antioxidant right away. Watermelon is really good antioxidant. And then it's got cetyl alcohol, good fatty alcohol. And then it's got, you know, soothing antioxidant plant extracts, Pony again, which is Pony, the average antioxidant, but still an antioxidant. And it's got glycerin, the humectant superstar. It's got skin soothing licorice extract. The first in fact i'm looking here yeah this is all really good it's got sodium hyaluronic it's got vitamin e in it and um, but the last bit is obviously the perfume which i'm not keen on mm -hmm. i'm not keen on that but it's right at the very bottom of the ingredient list so i do think i could try this you know it's all about where the ingredients are on the list for me as well i know you're getting that but if perfume's at the very bottom I could handle it. I'm just saying that if the perfume is much higher up in the ingredient list and if you have a sensitive skin, okay, you really need to test patch it first, try a sample before buying something like that. Um, it's all us sensitive skin types that really have to be careful about using anything with fragrance in it. But down at the bottom, that's okay. I can handle it. So, but I think this is a good one, Glow Recipe. Uh-huh. I would give that a thumbs up. The thing that has completely changed the game for me, I think that putting my products on by patting them on and being really gentle with my skin and taking my time to do my skincare routine, I think that's really helped. I don't overload my skin with product anymore. I think that when it comes to actives and, you know, serums that are quite potent and quite strong, I used to go in with like a full pipette and then all over my face. You don't need to do that. Read the bottle and if it says three to five drops, use three to five drops. So that's something that's changed. Also, if my skin looks like it is starting to get irritated or maybe a bit red i will take out one of the the serums in in my routine that are active and i'll just stick to the really really um hydrating soothing ingredients i say that there's only two serums that have got actives in them that i use kind of every day one of which you'll see later but i another thing that i think has completely changed my skin and also how like my neck and things giving myself a little bit of a facial massage every day so you don't need to use this one i have got a few oils that i love um which i'll list below i'll just list all the oils that i really like but this one is amazing this is the face gym detox signature face oil so face gym for anyone that doesn't know it's a place you can go and get a facial but it's not like a normal facial it's quite active it's like a workout for your face and it's amazing it's so good so i take more than they say of this oil i get quite a lot because i do my whole neck as well so i'm going to rub my hands together you see and then i'm going to start with my neck i'm going to just apply a bit going down and then and this oil is super lightweight it's not going to block your pores and what i do is i start i get my hands my hands are always quite cold so it's quite nice but i just quite vigorously massage my face and i do a lot of lifting stuff so see if i show you 
Face Gym actually have like an app where you can go and see exactly what to do. I just do what feels nice. Like see these glands down. So I think that's really good that she's given herself a good massage. I do love that. I think that's really good that she's doing that in the morning and taking the time. I liked when Jamie said that she does take time with applying her products. I really do like that. And, you know, I think that, you know, there is quite a lot of ingredients in what she's put on. Um, and then she's putting this on on top to massage it in. I think if you've got time, you know, do it if you can. Um, if we haven't got the time in the morning, do it at night. But this massage she's going into just now using Face Gym, I really do think this is great to do. I really do. I think you have to, you know, stimulate your skin, except if you've got the sensitized skin. I think every one of us should be doing something like this to massage and keep the products, you know, working but it stimulates the blood flow to the skin it helps the lymph drainage to drain any toxins away from the skin so this is good doing a massage 100 percent face gym um that sounds a great place to go and have a facial i'd like to go there in the future when they open up so this face oil it's a good face oil it's 50 quid for that bottle so it's not cheap mm -hmm. it's super hydrating it's got antioxidant the only thing again is there is really quite a bit at the bottom of this is the perfumes uh huh and it's got quite a few in it but it has got really nice oils in it i would definitely have a look at that and um, it's also got sodium hyaluronic hyaluronic acid and it's worth a look at just i wish they hadn't put so many perfumes a freaking perfumes in it <laughs> okay but it really is it's a good product i think this is good so i would definitely do this and have a look at doing your own massage taking time to do that it's really cool all right, last thing for during the day. So I used to do this day and night. You don't need to do it day and night. But I use Revital Lash. And what I've found is if I do it at night time, sometimes my eyes stream, which means that the product will go on my cheeks, which will make my cheeks hairy. Very bizarre. Um, but I've got Revital Brow as well. Now, they sent me Revital Brow and I bought Revital Lash. I think I'm on my second bottle of Revital Lash. For me, I don't think I've ever seen such good results. I do use castor oil as well. So, this is really interesting. I thought it was great how she said that if some of this Revital Brow or Revital Lash falls onto your cheek area, Jamie will get hairy cheeks. No, 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 that won't, that won't work. No, I don't, I think that's, no, it won't work. <laughs> no. So it'd be interesting to find out if anyone out there has used any of the Revital Lash products to see what you think of them. Um, <clears throat> it's £59 for six weeks use, however much you get for that, for the eyelash conditioner. There's mixed reviews on it. Um, so I wonder if it does work. Not sure, I'm not sure. I'd like to really get more reviews on this myself. Um, the main thing is what's in charge of hair growth is the male hormone, full stop. So your hair growth, it's always the male hormone that's in charge of this. That's it in a nutshell. It's in charge of the sebum flow to the skin and the hair growth. This has got a synthetic prostaglandin, DDE, and a mix of good ingredients that are definitely going to prevent your hair from breaking. But I'm wondering if this is what they're saying, the synthetic prostaglandin is a thing that's going to keep the hair growing. Not sure. Um, ginseng and calendula are two really good ingredients and this will prevent your, your lashes really from really degrading or breaking off or falling out. So I think that's good. Um, but I really would like to know if anyone out there has tried it to see if it really works. Mm -hmm. It's an expensive treatment and um, Jamie says she loves it. But I think if you're a makeup artist, I can see why you would definitely want to try stuff like this to keep your lashes and your eyebrows in good nick. Mm -hmm. So remember and tell me if you've used it. Castor oil does work by itself. I use castor oil because using Revital Lash can make your lashes grow really long, but it can make them quite brittle as well. So using castor oil just keeps everything hydrated. I just love my Revital Lash. I think it's made my lashes really nice and thick and long. And then during the day, I don't use castor oil because it would make everything really slippy. I know that I've used an oil, but see that oil, it just sinks in and then you can do your makeup. But I just get a little 
spoolie. This is the best spoolie in the world. This is the, the Smith Cosmetics one. It's huge. And I just brush that through my brows. My brows are nice and thick now. And yeah, that's my morning routine. So I think the most important thing, oh my God, no it's not, I've not done my SPF. SPF is something that again, I'm quite fickle, I like trying new things, but I really love this one here. This is the Sun Project Water Sun Cream. It's an SPF 50. Uh, I think the brand's called Thank You Farmer. And I take quite a lot of that on my hand, get it in my fingers, and then I just, Pat that on so it's dispersed evenly and even though we live in the most ridiculously gloomy <laughs> country, you still need to wear your SPF. What I like about it is it's really lightweight, it sinks in, it does not break me out. My skin's quite resilient but sometimes th things can break me out and SPF is one of them. So that was interesting. So. I like that spoolie, that Smith Cosmetics spoolie that's used for her eyebrows. I thought that was really cool. Um, I couldn't look at, they didn't have it online in stock, so I don't know what's happening there. Um, but they were really, that looks a really good thing, the Smith's Cosmetics spoolie. Next one is this Thank You Farmer Sun Project Water Sun Cream at SPF 50, 80, 18 pounds for 50 ml. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say that I have looked at the ingredients of this and this is not a good sunscreen. No, it's not. Um, it's got four of its top ingredients that are currently being looked at and deregulated in US and Canada. So I would be really not advising this one and I hope that someone sees this and tells Jamie to contact me. <laughs> um, but this has got, you know, the first one is octanoxate, um, which is not great now. It's not thought of as a great chemical sunscreen. It's got homosale, another sunscreen that's currently going under the scrutiny with the FDA. And it's got the next one. Ethyl hexyl salicylic um, late, which is the same. These are going in the next one too. So really, um, four of its top ingredients, one, two, three, four, yet yeah, four are going underneath scrutiny. So this is not a good, and it's a chemical sunscreen. Mm -hmm. It has got titanium dioxide in it, which is the 11th ingredient, too late, I think. Um, and it's got alcohol in it, drying alcohol. It's also got perfume in it. And no, I'm not... I'm not keen on this one at all. Do I think that we need to use an SPF 50 in UK? I'm not really thinking we do um, because our sun here is not the same as if you went somewhere near the equator where SPF 50, you pretty much would want to use an SPF 50. Um, so I think SPF 50 really is a bit high. I don't think we need to, to do that here, no. And I'm not keen on something that's got so many chemical sunscreens in it either. We have to think everything's going towards the mineral and that's, the trend is right now. The trend is right, we want to go to reef friendly. This is not reef friendly, meaning it's kind to the oceans, obviously. This is not that product. So no, I wouldn't think this is a good one to end up in. So I hope Jamie hears this, but I have to say her skin looks really good. I, I think her skin does look great. And um, she's obviously, the hydration is a key for her and she's obviously taking time. I think she said key things there about taking time to do her skin and I just love that. And obviously the hydration is keeping it looking nice and plump and she seems to think, and I think it's the truth myself, that when your skin is hydrating, your makeup really goes on much, much better. So I think those are key things. My favourite product, I'm going to go back to it, yes, it's a Victoria Beckham um, Beauty Austin, Austin, <laughs> Augustinus Bader Cell Rejuvenating Power Serum, 180 quid. <laughs> ding, ding. That is my favourite one. Uh -huh. So I think that's amazing. And I'm thanking Jamie for introducing that to me because that really is, it's really a bit of a superstar serum, although it's expensive. So I hope that was interesting for you today. Please, if you've used any of these products, let me know in the comments below. It's always good to everybody to open up about what products are using and we can all learn from that. Have a fantastic week and take care of yourselves. And remember, do, this is taking time, taking care of yourself. So always thinking that when you spend this time cleansing or putting on your products, it is all about you and self-care is self-love. And that's just in time for Valentine's. So take care. Bye for now. Bye.